And then in the next half hour, I want to talk about this uh, Governor Palin book signing deal because I think it's fantastic. I think it's great. Well, of course you do. Of course. I, well, hey, I mean, she's, <laughs> she's, she's a your great boss. lady. She's a great and, – and indirectly my <laughs> boss, yes. And she is a great lady. And um, But, you know, really, I don't see this. I want to talk about employment because a lot of folks are saying to me, well, this, this is outside employment, and that's not allowed in the Ethics Act. And I just think that is so bogus. It's not outside employment. It's not like, you know, Ricci has a job or I have a job. This isn't a second job. You know, writing's a hobby. It's like someone could be an artist, and it's their hobby, and, you know, you make some money from your paintings. That's cool. So she gets to write a book. It's a hobby. I mean, that's – I don't see how that's outside employment. And I know that someone is going to call up, and they're going to say, well, no, it's outside employment. Uh, you know, it's the ethics of this and that. And I'm sure someone, unfortunately, is going to file an ethics complaint and I just can't stand that garbage. I think that law needs to be changed. If you file an ethics complaint, you should not be able to disclose that you filed it. You should not be able to disclose your name. You should not be able to politically grandstand on something that is so serious right now in our political landscape that has been taken advantage of by many of these liberals. So we'd love to take your phone calls. 274-KBYR, 274-5297. I know that um, you know Governor Palin's uh, attorney called in yesterday, Thomas Van Flyn. He's a great guy, uh, you know, good Alaskan, strong Alaskan family here. He's got roots up in Fairbanks as well, and uh, I know that they're doing the right thing. And and I'm just I'm very happy for Governor Palin, and I'm, I hope that you know her family has a lot of success with this, and that this is just a, a good opportunity that people don't try to uh, wrongly take advantage of, and that we allow her to have this freedom and and allow her to uh, have some spare time that most people take advantage of including governors they all have spare time so. welcome back to the eddie burke show everybody i'm McHugh pierre filling in for eddie on this last half hour of friday if you're still at work you only have about 24 minutes left if you get off at five it's just going to be a great time this weekend so you know we've gone over a lot of stuff but we'd really like to hear from you about this whole uh, governor palin book deal um, you know, the whole uh, outside employment issue and the ethics reform, I don't think this is outside employment. I don't think this can even be closely conceived as outside employment. Um, you know, I'd just like to hear your your ideas, your thoughts about this. I know that some liberal out there is going to file some kind of ethics complaint, and I'm upset about that already. Hasn't even happened, and oh, they're going to notify themselves. They're going to say, "I'm Ricci, and I filed an ethics complaint because I'm a liberal," and I think that's absolutely absurd. We'd love to hear from you. Two seven four K B Y R. That's two seven four five two nine seven. If you're outside of the Anchorage area, give us a shout. Toll free eight six 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 one zero. KBYR. You know, Mickey, you, you kind of give me that glare at times. When you mention the word liberal, you kind of look over at me and you're like, liberal. My eyes narrow a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of scary, actually. It's just, you know, <laughs> you it's just because I'm like a foot taller than you, that's yeah, why. this is true. Hey, I mean, it's it's all right. We'd love to go to the phone lines. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this. We've got Robert on line one. Robert, welcome to the Eddie Burke Show. What do you have to say? Hi, Mickey. Hey, I have an uh, anti palin liberal story for you. Good. Oh, tell me about it. Well, I, I went to um, my son's graduation for Diamond High School yesterday, and during the ceremony, they had two teachers um, say, you know, say some things about, you know, whatever, you know, they say graduations. But they got into anti palin uh, you know, speech, and every everybody was uh, kind of like, ooh, you know, like, oh, why are you, why are you doing that? Why do you have to get into that? You know, because even some of the, the students got to speak, and they said, well, we got to vote. They're proud they got to vote for a president, you know, and, and the mayor's race and everything, and that was part of their graduation year. But then the teachers got to go down and bring it down to, oh, anti palin stuff. That's horrible. You mean the teachers, they were actually standing up on the stage talking to everybody about it, or were they mingling with the students? Uh, they, they did the speech in front of, in front of everyone and did the, it was like a, um, a update, uh, you know, live update uh, thing, uh, like a semi live. Yeah. So they thought that was funny. That's not and, funny at all. You know, yeah, people who, who respect, you know, the people in government and everything are like, oh, why don't you cut this short? And, you know, Carol Cuomo was sitting there and she was just chuckling, you know, I guess she was embarrassed to do anything, but, you know, it just ruins the whole graduation. That is, the, you know, what's what's sad about that, Robert, is that you know it wasn't too long ago I was in high school, and mm -hmm. and maybe it's because I was in Wasilla, it was a little different. But uh, y you know, those those attitudes and those beliefs are passed down. And where's the other side? Where's that openness with the education supposed to embrace? Yeah, well, why they had to bring it there in the first place? Yeah, you that's mean, horrible. You don't want that kind of stuff at at, at kids' graduation. Yeah, the know? organized the organized function event. I mean, that shouldn't that shouldn't be happening. 
Yeah, I, I mean, you know, teachers can have whatever beliefs they want, but don't bring it to the students and in front of their parents at graduation. That was That's terrible. Right. I, I, I would uh, demand that someone who apologizes from the school district. That you know, I really, I'm really upset about that, and I think other parents are too. We'll get Eddie to take him to task. I hope so. I appreciate the phone call, Robert. Have a good weekend. Bye. Hey, stay strong. Keep your conservative beliefs right. You're listening to Eddie Burke Show on KBYR 700 AM. Give us a shout, 274-5297. I'm McHugh Pierre filling in for Eddie, and I have to say I'm excited that uh, that Governor Palin got this book deal. I think it's going to be great for her. I think it's going to be great for the state, and I'd love to hear some folks uh, talk about it. So Joanne is online, too. Joanne, Hi. welcome to Eddie Burke Show. What do you have to say? Well, I think these people that are filing all these ethics complaints need to get a job. Amen to that, sister. You know, if all they have time for is to sit around and come up with reasons to file ethics complaints, they've got way too much time on their hands. You know, if they but, were if they were really concerned about it, don't you think they would want to have a, a real process take place instead of going to the news media right away and saying, "Hey, I filed an ethics complaint and this is my name." Exactly. You know, is exactly. that is that too much to ask for that for that to take place to have that those names be um, you know withheld or um, it, it, do you think that's reasonable? I think it's reasonable. They want their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, it's too bad. They want their, na- their names on the radio and on the paper, or in the paper. And you know what? Get a job. Quit That's holding right. out your hand for handouts and get a job. Well, thank you very much, Joanne. We appreciate the phone call. Thank you. Bye. Give us a shout right here on the Eddie Burke Show. Tell us what you think. 274-KBYR. I believe David is on line one. David, thanks for holding, man. Welcome to the program. I think that uh, something I've noticed about Palin haters is they're they're mostly women, and and the women that are doing this are are in two categories: they're either single women, or they're women with completely emasculated husbands. That's interesting. And it's it, it seems to be it seems to be almost universally that the ones that I've met, and I've actually talked to them straight up and just kind of asked them. Pointedly, what why is it that you are so vindictive against this woman? Yeah, what do they have to say? I mean, do they have any logical answers to that? Their answer is invariably, I'm not vindictive against her. That's right. I'm just disappointed. Well, disappointed about what? I think a lot of folks are upset that she's a normal person and she's um, you know achieved success and achieved fame, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's great. I'm thinking, too, you know, if this thing really happened at Diamond High the way that it was laid out, I don't think an apology is enough. I think that that teacher really shouldn't be around our children. I think that we need a resignation. Yeah, you know, I, I certainly I think there needs to be some discussion on that. And I think there, yeah. there, there needs to be a higher level of accountability That's right. than just saying, oops. Yeah, well, we really appreciate your phone call. Thank you so much for dialing in. Let us know what you think about the the Palin book deal, about the you know the ethics, the rules about you know whether or not you can have outside employment and what constitutes employment. Give us a shout two seven four K B Y R. We've got Monroe next, I believe. Monroe on line three. Thanks for holding. Welcome to the program. Hey, thanks. Um, I just got um, an analogy as to what Robert was talking about mm-hmm. with uh, Diamond High. It's kind of like. A drunk uncle showing up to a beautiful wedding. It's something that just ruins something for people. You know, I mean, it's it's a it's just a bad thing that happened that shouldn't have. Yeah, do you think you can ever keep your drunk uncle away though? <laughs> I think we all worry about that when we get married. I know my wife and I did. We said, okay, who might be the one? Well, you know, my daughter is graduating in a couple of years, and that's one thing that I'm worried about. That something like that is going to happen and you know that in itself is unethical yeah you know i don't know do but you it sounds to me like you share your you know your ideas and you you talk about stuff like that with your daughter um oh, yeah you know that that's got to benefit her and allow her to speak up and speak out uh with her classmates as well yeah yeah and she does that's... she does you know she talks to her friends about it and i don't know that's the way to be an involved parent yeah we appreciate your phone call Right, thank thank you. you so much for calling in. Let's go to T- 